Good morning, everybody. This is Tuesday, <clears throat> Moment of Destiny with Pastor Adebo coming your way. I want us to start today by giving thanks to God and blessing for His kindness and blessing over our lives. Just let's thank Him that you are alive today. I want you to know that you have been alive is because God has kept you. God has kept you for a reason. He's kept you for a purpose because of the manifestation of his mercy you slept you lay you slept you are woke and because god kept you there are those that didn't wake up will you go ahead and give him thanks wherever you are right now father we thank you for your mercy for giving you praise for your kindness lord we glorify your name we appreciate you Receive all our praise. Glorious Lord, we give you praise. Thank you and thank you and thank you. We appreciate you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Now, we've been talking about destinies uh, uh, this month. And I want you to know that destiny, like we said, Jeremiah 1 5, is not something that you decide, it's something you discover. Um, I said that the Bible says that before I formed thee in your mother's womb, I knew thee and I ordained you to be a prophet to nations. In other words, God had a picture of you before he formed you. God designed you before he fashioned you. So you are not just a creature of accident. However, destiny is what all of us are born with. But it's coded. You have to find it. And unfortunately, many people don't find it till they die. They don't even look for it. So they, 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 go, they, they come to this world full like a bottle of water and go back full without discovering if the reason why they haven't born at all. So there is, you are born with a destiny awaiting your, your discovery. And like I wrote in my book, Born with a Destiny, which all of you need to get if you have not gotten it. The two most important days in people's life is the day they are born. Number two, the day they realize the reason why they are born. You need to get that book, it will help you. You get on my website www.adebotomomeo.com. Get that book, it's an ebook, you can buy it and have it on your phone. Because you cannot seek what you don't know. You have a destiny, you are born with something. You are not empty, you came here and loaded. You need to understand your loadation. And because if you don't understand what you are loaded with, how do you know what answer you are born to have? You are born what what how do you know the question you are born to answer in this world? So you need to seek it. I want to know the place to find it on the mountain. Seek the face of God. You have to ask God for it. Jeremiah 33, verse 3. Call upon and I will show you great and mightier things which you know not. If there is a man to pray, there's a God to show. And that is why I want us to know that when you're seeking God to find His plan and purpose for your life, you are creating a mountain experience for yourself. He said, I will set Habakkuk chapter 2. He said, I will stand on my tower and I will set myself and I will hear what God will say to me. So you have to seek God to find it. I had to seek God in 1994, 1993 to find it. It's not going to jump on your laps. You need to find it. You need to find it. You need to follow it. And you need to fulfill it. So I want to encourage everybody listening to me this morning. To create time in your day-to-day activity. Ask God, Lord, what am I here for? What is my purpose in life? Because until you discover it, Nobody will discover you until God shows you, until God reveal it to you. You can't be revealed to your world. <laughs> and those are the things as you see God, you begin to have an encounter with the plans of God. Those encounters will shape your life, will give direction and bear it to your destiny. That is why when you begin to pray and seek the face of God, you begin to have encounters. 
So that's what we are talking about. To our, our talking to our people this week, I said, the Lord said it's going to be a place of encounter, place of encounter, and including this platform. That's why God brought this platform to be a place of encounter for you, to be your own mountain. In the Bible, there are seven mountains, seven mountains, Mount Carmel, Mount Sinai, and you see Mount Summit of the Mount, Mount of Transfiguration. Seven mountains, and on each of those places, there are places God gives people encounters. One of them is the Mount of Transfiguration. From Matthew 17, 1 to 5, the Bible says Jesus took his disciples to the mountain, verse 2, and there he was transfigured before them. And the Bible says his face shone, his face shone, his cloth was changed. Moses and Elijah appeared, Elijah saw those things. All those things shaped the destiny of Elijah, those encounters. And in that place, they had the voice that said, this is my beloved son, hear him. That encounter that Peter had shaped his life. Those encounters that Peter had made his life and destiny to count. Those encounters were the reason why he couldn't betray Jesus. Many people are born again, but they lack encounters. That's why they behave anyhow. They do all manner of ungodly things. And the ungodly behavior because you have no encounter, God. Those encounters, the more encounter Peter had, the more better he became, even though he denied the master. But those encounters couldn't, was what made it difficult for him to walk away. Encounters shape your life. Encounters stabilize your life. Encounters turn your life into an empowered life. When you encounter God, you are empowered to go and counter the enemy and the devil. Let's pray right now. Wherever you are, I pray for somebody here on this platform. The Lord will grant you encounter. Today, may you enter. May you experience your own encounter. May God give you a one-on-one -on -one encounter in Jesus' name. Let's begin to pray. Wherever you are, Lord, give me an encounter that will shape my destiny. Mount, Mount of Decoration was the place of encounter for, for, for Peter. Oh, the burning bush and Mount, 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 Mount Sinai was the place of encounter with the children of Israel. Oh, burning bush was the place of encounter for Moses. And uh, the, uh, the, the uh, Damaru to Damascus was a place of encounter for Paul. Lord, give me my own encounter that will make my destiny to count in this generation. Lord, help me. Empower me, oh God. Help me, my Father. Thank you because you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Uh, please, and if you are there, you are not born again, uh, take this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I come to you right now. Forgive me my sins. Wash me with your blood today. I receive as my Lord and Savior. Thank you for saving my soul. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Please let me share this message. Bless somebody with it. And let this message go viral. It will bless you as you help other people and bless them. In Jesus' name. I look forward to coming your way again tomorrow. God bless you. Bye-bye. Have a blessed, wonderful day. Amen. Bye-bye. And I want to encourage you, you can check our website. We will have a new website, uh, www.destinychurchforallnations. That is, it's called www.destinynations.org. www.destinynations.org. I want you to uh, 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 connect and see great things that is on those platforms. God bless you. Look forward to see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.